Hey guys, today we're gonna check out Son Gohan or Father Son Kamehameha Goku and Gohan Return. Now, this leader is freaking amazing. If you see what he does on this side, you basically get dual attack from his auto effect and you get to awaken yourself and every turn you can take one or two life from and just add it to the hand. So it also gives you a hand advantage. And awaken, you need to have three or less life. You draw two cards and flip one energy. Then, on this side, ooh, when you attack, you draw a card. And maybe my camera will focus. Wait, aha, okay. Activate battle. Once per turn, during your turn, choose one card in your life placed in a drop area. This card gets plus 10,000 power and triple strike for the duration of the turn. So it is a 25k triple strike finisher. And you have a other activate main window. Once per turn, switch this card to active mode. At the end of your turn, you lose the game. So high stakes, but worth it. Next card we have is... Actually, it's a bit dark now. So, hit the lights. And let's hope it doesn't shine like hell. So, next card we have is 2 times SS2 Son Gohan, Wounded Victor. He comes in for 3 energy, has triple strike, and because of the next card we have, he has dual attack. Because the next card is SS Son Goku Valiant Breakthrough. Now, what? why is this important? He combos with a uh, yellow Son Goku from the drop area. When this guy is comboed with from the drop area, he restands a Son Gohan on the field. So, haha. Uh -huh. Then two times Super Combo Dr. Zero. Why? Because he throws away this from the deck to the drop. After that, of course, to Paragus because of the drop power. After that, three times Cell, so, Devourer of the Masses. Now this card is successor to 6 cost. When you play this card with successor, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier, KO it, then your opponent chooses one card in their hand and place it in the drop area. So OP. Then when this card is removed from your battle area by opponent's skill or KO'd, draw three cards, not one, not two, three cards just for being killed. Oh my god. After that, I wanted to have a rival, so Ribrian Massive Love, it really helps with the successor. It comes in for one energy, kills a card that's uh, four or less. So yeah, it's pretty useful overall. Then, you're gonna think I'm crazy, but I run only three times Anilaza. Why? Because, to be honest, I didn't have room in the deck, and... I can just put in the first turn one of these and I'm not aiming to go past turn 3. Like if I go turn 4 that's the maximum I can do, after that I'm I'm not <laughs> in a good place. So after that we have Awakened Warrior Bardock. Why? Because we don't do anything with the drop area and when you're trying to finish a game, second, third turn, you don't really have that much energy. And he comes in for free with double strike, so potential good finisher. Half of my deck KOs, so of course I'm gonna put in Frieza. It's 4 cost, I can use it for successor, it's also with crit, so yeah. Then, 3 times, sh actually no, it's 4 times Shocking Death Bow. Oh well, I forgot. For some removal and sparking, then flying Nimbus two times because to be honest, it's enough. And now the stars of the deck. First, we start with actually, yeah, the kind of stars of the deck with three adoptive father son Gohan. After that, four dependable dynasty Son Goku. Then, 
Intrepid Dynasty Son Gohan. Of dynasties here. And four times ultimate potential SS2 Son Gohan because again removal. And eh, to be honest, it's a pretty good card. I I don't really have to explain it, just KOs and comes in for two energy. To be honest, that's plenty enough. Uh, and after that, three times ultimate form Son Goku. Now, why this is this important? Because if I have three or less life. Actually, yeah, if I have three or less life, this one comes in for four energy instead of five. And I can swap with him for him. So, also when he comes in, he KOs uh, rest mode or active mode. If it's rest mode, I draw. If it's active, it just dies. But it's still a pretty good card. Then, since this is a height of mastery deck, we're running three path to greatness. Oop, you can't see the nimbus. I'ma show the nimbus. And two height of mastery. But this isn't the finish because you see our leader is green. And I have this card, Hope of Universe 7, which works very well with green leaders. Because you see, EX Evolve for one cost on top of a 5 or more Son Goku Universe 7. So one of these two, haha, uh haha. -huh, uh -huh. Then it's triple attack and critical. When this card attacks, if your leader card is green, choose up to one card from your opponent's hand or up to one of their battle cards and place it in the drop area. So already amazing card and that's basically it. So I have tried the deck out, it's not like I just slapped it together because it kind of looks like that. I did well against uh, Universe 7 and Shenron so against low playing decks you, you kind of have the advantage. Even though Universe 7 isn't that slow, you still have the advantage. Against Black Budo, it was 2-1 two, two to one, uh, for the other guys, so yeah. I'm gonna need to work on a, a, bit, a little bit more on the early game. But overall, the deck uh, did way better than I thought at first, so I decided to show it to you guys. Uh, I have some ideas on how to make it stronger though. And... Yeah. But the other idea I have for this leader won't include the Height of Mastery. So if you want to play Height of Mastery Son Gohan or Height of Mastery at all, this is a very good choice. Okay, thanks you guys for watching and see you all next one.